My name is Randy Pick, and I'm the executive director here, and I'm going to give you a tour of the facility. The Institute opened its doors for the first time in 2008. It was established by the Donald W. Reynolds Foundation. Behind me, uh, students will have their lunch there, they'll study there. We also have events there. We have the J Cafe uh, over there. The brick wall over there, that building was built in the 1800s. The building I'm standing in was built in 2007. And the building on the other side of the pillar, that was built in the 1930s. You can just walk less than 100 yards and cover three centuries worth of architecture. This is the uh, Journalism School Library. It's the first journalism library in the country. It's, it's one of the biggest. And uh, they actually check out more digital equipment than books. Oh, and there's Dorothy Carnage. She's the head of the library. This is the third floor of RJI, where we have all of the administrative offices, including the executive director of the Pictures of the Year International, which is one of the events that we sponsor every year. This is the administrative offices, and here we have Brian Steffens, he's Director of Communications. So then we have our main conference room here on the third floor, and then we have a, a little area here devoted to the history of Don Reynolds and his company. And here's uh, Mr. Gafke, Roger Gafke. Hello, Roger. How are you? It's fine, thank you. Hope you're having a good tour of this place. It's a good tour. We're hoping it's a fast yeah, this tour. this is a wonderful thing to show off. So this is my office. My daughter has put a few things on the wall. I can't take the credit for all the artwork. We have some more folks here. And then we come back to the beginning. Um, see, I can walk backwards too, just like you can. See? <laughs> so of course, I have to make sure I don't fall down. Every year we invite fellows in, and they come in with their energy and their great ideas. And we try to advance strategies, new products, new applications, uh, whatever makes sense. Now we want to go down and see the new headquarters of the American Society of News Editors and maybe we'll be able to meet Arnie Robbins, the executive director. Arnie always has very interesting socks. This is a, a meeting space we have, but one of the most popular areas of RJI to sit and work is right over there. So this is Fred Smith Forum. This is where we have uh, our, our events and conferences. We can live stream from here. We have multiple cameras, you can see. It's pretty cool. So the rest of the second floor, we have uh, two large conference areas uh, where we can have uh, breakout sessions from Fred Smith Forum or just separate meetings. And um, see the nice bridge that goes over the uh, the Futures Lab. This is the RJI Futures Lab. This is the ground floor of RJI. And this is where we have the meeting spaces. This is where the students work with the great faculty here at Mizzou. And then back here we have a broadcast television studio and a control room. We do several shows in there every week. This is the Microsoft Application Development Lab. It's the only one of its kind at a university in uh, the United States. And uh, here we have Mike McKean, who is director of the Futures Lab. We're using this space explicitly right now to work on a mobile app for a major newspaper on the East Coast. And one of the really fun things we do down here in the Futures Lab is bring journalism and computer science and business students together and say, here's a challenge from the industry. Solve that challenge. And oftentimes they come up with some really cool things. I hope I'll see you in person soon.